Hi guys, good morning. I've actually been up for a few hours now, but I was working on my phone and just doing stuff, chatting with fans and stuff, so I didn't really like get up and do anything, but I had to put pants on because I had a Walmart food delivery, so I'm just showing you today's outfit and PJs. A lot of my stuff isn't really fitting me, um, which is like obvious, you know, obvious. I've gained weight, so I am actually on day two of being vegan. I'm not trying to make me be vegan forever. You know, I'm just doing it to kind of like have a purpose right now. I'm gonna weigh myself I need to move my scale because it's just not in a place where I like can weigh myself really well So right now it's here and I'm gonna be honest like I'm such a thick girl that being up against the wall is not It's not working. So I'm gonna take this scale. I'm gonna actually put it over here because then I have more room that way I can actually weigh myself and not stress out. I always weigh myself with my camera usually, so honestly, I can always look up the weight of the camera, but I'm not that pressed. This is my current weight. I already know I'm gonna be really thick and heavy. 183.6, or 283, wow. My brain really likes to lie to myself right now and tell myself that I'm not that heavy, and I've kind of been like, I have been in denial but I've definitely been not wanting to face the truth which is in denial so I guess I've been in denial but um this past few months has been really hard for me I have been like throwing myself into working and you know putting my heart and soul into my fans but I haven't really been posting on YouTube which I love YouTube so I'm trying to get back into that so yeah that's my wait for day two I know that I've hit over 300 pounds I have been like trying to lose weight for a few months now it just just not not really happening so we're just gonna start with 280 3.6 for documenting this journey and now I'm going to show you guys my body a little bit more because I feel like that's important for me This is what I used to do to document my journey and I cannot believe I used to think I was fat because now I'm definitely chunky We're just gonna pull these shorts down. I need a bikini. Maybe that's what I'll do next week, but basically That's me sucking in. This is me not pushing out. Just relaxed. Can you tell? I got some some chunks that if I pull my shorts up, obviously I still have my butt. But if I cover, that's what I look like right now. These shorts were definitely loose on me when I was into fitness and now they are very, very tight. I'm just showing my body so you guys can kind of see what I'm working with to start with. My arms are much bigger. I have stretch marks, which maybe the camera's not picking up right now, but I promise you guys. I definitely have extra rolls. I have stretch marks. See those? So I'm really trying to feel better and do better, but I'm just gonna show you guys my day. All right, so for the past few weeks, I've been going on walks, so eventually I'm gonna do that. It's currently 10 o'clock in the morning. I usually do that around like noon or maybe a little before noon. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm starting my day with because I have not really eaten yet. I just had something to drink, that's all. So this cabinet right here is gonna be like helpful to me. So I have, since when you're raw vegan, you need to get your nutrients. I have three of these new plus packets. These are my dad kind of explained it to me really well because he was a raw foodist vegan for 22 years. So these three packets have nutrients in it for me. And I think that's to hydrate myself, but don't quote me if I'm wrong. I have these three packets and then I have these three. This is called the Quirinary or whatever the heck it's called. Then I'm also, also the company is Sunrider, not sponsored or anything. My dad just has always had these products like his whole life. I also have tea. Every day I'm supposed to drink a gallon of this tea and we'll see, it's supposed to like flush your system. I've already had like a cup of it, which is obviously not anything, but. Boom, I have my pitcher, I'll show you. This is a little more than a gallon but it's perfect. And then I, the day before, brew the next set of tea. That way I can have it cold in my fridge already. You can see I've kind of already started making a dent. It's sweetened with stevia, but I'm definitely gonna like drink water too. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I've been having a really hard time eating the raw vegan because I ended up buying meal prep. And the guy, I specifically told him no onions. I can't eat spicy and no walnuts. He did not listen to really any of that. There's onions all in the food. There's walnuts in some of it too. I don't know, I was just like disappointed that he didn't listen to that because like that would make it a lot easier for me to eat this stuff. And I paid money for it, so he should have listened to that. I I mean, it's not that hard not to put walnuts in there. But I'm gonna start with one curinary packet and then a new plus packet. And then if I wanna have the rest of them, I can. They're supposed to also curb your cravings because this is bitter as heck, you guys. I'll show you what it looks like when it's on my tongue. It looks like dirt, it tastes like dirt. Mm. I'm starting with this. I'm gonna have another one of these. And then after my walk, I'll probably have another. And then before dinner, 
another. I think I'm going out to dinner, which is obviously not the best way to support myself right now, but I'm gonna be honest with you, it is my roommate's parents and I have not seen them in a long time. So it's like hard because I don't wanna be rude and be like, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm on a diet, I don't wanna see you. And I want it to be a lifestyle, so I am gonna go and just find something, maybe have them just cook the vegetables. I told you guys I'm trying to just be vegan, but like raw vegan for the first month, but it'll be very hard to do raw vegan out at a restaurant, so we'll see. But yeah, I'm just trying to finish these. Then I'm gonna change for my walk. And I might take the dogs. I usually take the dogs, but they honestly stress me out so bad, you guys. Like, just because there's three of them. Not because they're bad dogs, but there's three of them. So, like, if I want to have a good mental health walk, doing that with them is not the key. I'm gonna finish this stuff. I'll show you guys. I'm even finishing it. Mm. On to the next one. This is not bad. This tastes good. I thought it was gone, but boom. First packet's down. I obviously am not that hungry right now, so it helps curb the sweet tooth that I have because I love sweets, you guys. Like, I can eat sweets all day, every day. At like 11 to 1, I'm getting a Costco delivery, like, of a ton of vegetables and stuff like that, and I think a little bit of fruit too. So then I can make like my smoothie, and I did order a Vitamix. It's 10 10, so I could go for my walk right now, and I think that I would be safe to uh, be back in time. But I just have. These two sets of packets. I'm gonna keep them out. Hopefully this is helpful for you guys to see a little bit inside of my life. So I just got my delivery from Costco. There's lots of goodies in here. So I'm gonna go to the kitchen, check it out. I also got my first Vitamix. Pretty excited. And then some almond milk. And he decided to, Bear, what'd you decide to do, Bear? Bear, say, I'd like to run away. He decided to run into the Instacart guy's um, vehicle. All right, so we are going to do a food haul here. My face is not in it, I'm really sorry guys, but I'm just gonna show you what I got. So I got lots of bananas. Got three packs of bananas. Baby spinach, which will go in my smoothie. And more bananas. Then I got natural peanut butter. This is organic. There's no sugar in it, I don't think. Bloobs, which is blueberries. Then they have the best dates. I think these are pitted. Uh, then there's cacao powder. Then... Cashews. Here's the pitted dates, actually. There's these. And then raisins. My area is getting full. I might have to push them over there. Big bag of carrots. And then avocados, two of them. I'm a huge fan of avocados. Baby cucumbers. I actually really love cucumbers. And then organic hummus, because obviously I'm going straight from eating like to this, so hummus would be good. Almonds. And then organic frozen blueberries for my blueberry smoothie if I want that. So now I'm gonna put that stuff away. And I have a smoothie I'm gonna eventually make. So hopefully I can do that after my walk. All right, you guys. So I'm just gonna show you my outfit before I go on my walk. I'm just wearing these Amazon leggings. And this sports bra is from, I think, Walmart or Old Navy. So I'm gonna go ahead for my walk. And hopefully my Apple Watch uh, bars will get filled in with time. All right, you guys, so I have my blender. I'm gonna make my green smoothie. I have my recipe that my dad shared with me because this is like a childhood vegan smoothie. So the first thing in it is a half cup of organic almonds. This is gonna be considered the milk, is what the recipe says. So now I'm just looking for my half cup. Uh, there. Then two large handfuls of fresh organic spinach. I'm not sure what two large handfuls means because my dad has much bigger hands than me. Then it says two large handfuls of organic baby carrots. So I'm gonna use like these older carrots first. I don't even think they're organic, but I'm not wasting. Okay, that's a handful. And then I have another handful. We're gonna do that. And then it says a half cup of organic natural peanut butter. And then it says an avocado. So I'm gonna get the, the avocado first and then I need to stir the actual peanut butter because I haven't done that yet. So this one says a whole avocado and this one's like perfect right now. So I'm gonna cut this, do that, and I'll come back. All right, so I ended up making the smoothie. This is what it looks like. It looks like baby puke, but I'm drinking it. Mm. Honestly, it's not bad at all. Like, it literally tastes like a peanut butter cup. The only problem, though, is I didn't have frozen bananas, so it's not as cold. Like, it kind of just tastes, like, lukewarm right now, which is kind of gross, but the rest is good. So, I forgot to show you guys, but 
I'm on my second set of packets. I already finished the query. I'm doing this one now. And I'm looking at a medical bill that I have to pay. So that is what I'm up to. Okay, so it's four o'clock right now. This is what my Apple Watch looks like for reference. Do, do, do. So, I mean, obviously I'm gonna be up for another, at least up, up, moving around for the next four hours so that I usually close these. With that being said though, now it is actually time for me to shower. And I'm gonna show you guys like what's in my shower. I know it's kind of weird, but I know a lot of you guys also ask like what I use for my hair. I haven't dyed it in a very, very long time. And I think I'm just gonna keep it natural for a really long time because it just feels amazing and better. And you can kind of see my stretch marks on my arm now, but I'm drinking more. I'm gonna brush my teeth for the second time today because I like to brush like morning, noon, and night, but it's 4 p.m., but this is like noon for me. And then it's time for me to, before we go to dinner, have those packets that I had earlier, and then maybe some cuties or something, because even though I'm going to dinner, I'm trying to make healthy choices. So if you eat before, you eat a lot less when you're out, and it's you're still eating. And I know this from like back in the day when I was in bodybuilding, so I just try to do stuff that's gonna support me, and then when I get to the restaurant, I'll probably have to just order vegetables that are uncooked, so. Yeah. So I'm about to shower, but I want to show you. Here's Bear. He's sleeping by the toilet. And then in my shower, my shower's really pretty. I really love it. But I use Olaplex. So if you don't know what that is, this is what I use for my hair. And it'll show Olaplex, the conditioner, shampoo, and then I use the other thing. And then this is the crazy thing I use. This. This stuff burns, but it feels so good. I finished that shower that I told you I was doing. Changed, worked, messages. I'm just wearing this dress from Shein, and then this jacket that actually has, I wish I could show you, there's a hole in it that my dogs put in it, but it's not easy to see apparently. But it's a halter dress, and it has a little slit, and it's cute. You see that? That is the hole. So bad. The dogs chewed it. All right, you guys, I just finished dinner. I will give you a better look at my outfit. I'm just gonna set you on this cup. So I have my coat, and then I just have my dress. It's a halter top. And then obviously I wore my mask. I had sweet potato, and I know I had something else with it, but I had sweet potato and I think just rice. I'm pretty sure that's all I had. Um, it was kind of hard to eat there, but I made it work. That way I don't miss out on those things or seem rude. I'm trying CBD as well. Uh, CBN plus CBD oil. So I don't really know what this does or I've been trying to educate myself, but I'm gonna take this tonight before I go to bed. Currently I'm feeding the doggies. There's Bear. Bear, say hello. Bear just finished his food. Then we have Nacho who's ready to go outside. She's like, please, please. And then we have Toasty. Right, Toasty? Yeah, his little tail. So they're eating their dinner, and I have two packets and a lot of tea to keep drinking, so. So I definitely have a little bit more to stay up today. Not that much more, but I'm gonna be drinking, which means I'm gonna be getting up and down and peeing a lot. All right, I'm in my office. I've been working on captions and stuff. About to refill this. I've been watching YouTube TV, The Love After Lockup Show, and now I'm gonna go drink those and do the packets.